Good afternoon everyone. This afternoon I want to go through starting to assemble our car with the wheels, tether line guides and axles and axle grommets for the F1 and Schools Cadet Competition. The first thing we need to do before we can assemble our car is actually get the files for the wheels and axles. To do that we need to go to the REA website so www.rea.org.au and this is the source for everything you need to know for the F1 and Schools competition. So on the RA website, I'm going to go Programs, F1 and Schools, and we're going to go over to the Resources tab. Now in here, lots of great stuff. All of the technical regulations, competition regulations are all there. Um, any logos and branding, so if you want to put some decals on your car, these are all here. Competition scorecards are all there. Um, some sample student portfolios, they're a little bit old, but there's some still good stuff in there for you to look at, no plagiarism. Um, some marketing materials, and right down the very bottom of the page is this car assembly parts zip file, and that's the file I want. So I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to save the file. Actually, no, I'm going to open this one. I'm going to open the file, and here we have all the different parts. Now, these are different files for different applications. So the .ipt is for Inventor, the .cat is for a program called CATIA, um, IGS and STL are just other versions for other programs that we're not going to use them. What we want is these IPT files. So I'm going to select the all of them. So clicking, holding, sorry, holding the control key and then clicking, I want the deadline guide, narrow wheel, wide wheel, axle and axle grommet. I'm going to copy them and open up another window. Um, I've no idea where I want to put these. Let's just go on my desktop and I'm going to create a new folder called REA parts and for the time being I'm just going to save them in there. This is temporary just while we get them into OneShape. Okay let's get back to OneShape. Now to do this I want to upload them into my program so I can access them wherever I need them. So I'm going to import files and REA parts and I can click and drag and select the whole lot of these at once. Now I want these to import into a single document so and that's already highlighted which is awesome. Click OK and you can see here on the right hand side of the screen OneShape is now uploading all of those parts and very slowly we can start to see these appear one at a time within our workspace. Now they're not big files, it does depend on your internet connection but it doesn't take too long for these to be uploaded. So hang tight, as soon as it's done you'll be ready to start the assembly process in the next video. Catch you later.